Hello, and welcome to Father's Frontier. Oh, oh, um, oh, blimey. We've already got somebody visiting. Oh, it's Masuk the Silverton. And, oh, Struth. That is just sheer bad luck, that is. I mean, now is an opportunity to sell Hauberks and plate mail price he hasn't got much money in fact he's hardly got any money and nothing he has is something I want is that that that's just that's disappointing um what can I sell him then can I sell you three nope can't sell you even three can I sell you two Well, at least I can sell him something. <laughs> like a rare opportunity when you get these at a high price. That's the maximum price. And he doesn't have the money for me to uh, sell them. Anyway, uh, there's been an update. You might have noticed there's a big mini-map in the corner. So we are on now points, wait, it's, it's 0 0.9.5. So it's not fully released still. That's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There might there might be one more update after this. Might there might be more. I mean, they've left a bit of wiggle room, but yeah, they've added in this mini map, which is cool. I mean, that alone is being able to click around the map is so so much better. And in fact, I can even find places where I haven't actually discovered yet. Ooh, right, who have we got then? So four for me. Group four is. Yeah, group four is my cavalry. Actually, that's a thing. I really got... That can't be eight people, surely. That's a bit strange. Over here, all of you. That's a bit odd. I could have sworn they were all members of group four. Right, so if I double click on... Nope. So I drag over them. Right, so they're now group four. Right, okay. Right, so that one... Well, actually, I'll move the flag. Um, I haven't said that. What I could do is... Select group four and head over here. Why are you not moving? That's a bit bizarre. But yes, that's definitely useful, that. So we can toggle that, I think. Yeah, we can toggle that on and off. So that's extremely good. We can jump around the map. Uh, we've got speed controls. All ah, right, so we can enable or disable these options to slow the game down. So you can slow the game down whenever there's a raider attack. Or if there's an animal attack. So that's extremely useful. Especially with that ability to disable it. Because it's a bit of a pain. I'm pretty sure early on in the game. You used to get something attacking. And the game would keep slowing down or stopping or something. At least I think it's this game anyway. Right. Then we've got that one. Which is to toggle the military. Oh right. Okay. So that, that toggles these little banners on and off. So if we go. That, I must admit that. That looks more like a dog than a horse to me. Alright, I can double click on these as well. Oh, cool. I didn't really pay much attention to them. That's cool. Yes, that's the infantry over there. So yeah, so they've, they've introduced that. Uh, what's that? Toggle minimap settings. Right, so... Oh, why? Right. Ah, cool! So that shows you where the... That shows you where, like, the wolf dens are. It shows you where... Oh, that is cool, that. So you can you can highlight things on the map. So by default, it just highlights your town. So that'll show you where there's raider camps. So that'll sh show salvage sites. Now, yeah, the, the, the good news in this update is we get a minimap. The bad news is they've introduced salvage sites. And they only spawn in when you create a new map. So it's not... 
really helpful for me because I'm. But we're into year 168. So we're into year 168. And I can't get these. So this is a new feature they've, they've put in. Um, similar, like, I think, like with the relics that they had before. So that's a pity that if I want to, if I want to see this uh, new feature, I'm gonna have to start a new map. Boo hoo! Uh, so that shows you iron deposits. Well, oh, so that's cool. So you can see where the where the deposits are around the map. Now you can't zoom in and out by the looks of it all here. So yeah, there's a there's a stone uh, a coal deposit over there. So that's good. Well, that's very useful being able to see where the deposits are because if you're looking for a so that was one of my pet peeves was not being able to find uh deposits on the map you, you well me in particular would spend ages looking for the deposits and now you can uh so that's where the relics or excavation sites would be that's very good that so then you've got a quick one to hide everything or show everything well, that's pretty good that. that that is that is an extremely useful feature extremely useful right where's the cavalry gone there you are so there's nothing particularly new around here i think there was yeah there was an area here but that's water and that's water as well. Hmm. Right. Head back, barracks. Just go home. When you've been, wherever you've been, just head home. Me as well. I haven't said that. I'll go and have a peek over here. You never know, there might be something. Might be something interesting and exciting that I've missed over here. I very much doubt it, but... Oh dear. That's bad. Okay, we haven't found a cure for old age yet. But that is, that is one downside, I'd say. Until we find a cure for old age, these sort of things are going to happen. Yes, this is it. Got Z key to get back to the main town centre. Speaking of which... So town information, so overall happiness is at 90%. Entertainment's a bit of a problem, and that's because we're lacking in beer. Seem to have a bit of a problem with firewood, it seems. So these are all the professions that we've got, resources that we've got. Monthly, cost, uh, monthly costs for our troops and whatever, but what they've added in here is this crop summary. So that's interesting. So we've got a total area of 1,248 something acres, maybe. Who knows? And then that's the estimated yearly yield. So that's quite high, that actually. Um, so then we, we can see. So field one is currently growing leeks. So this is field two. So. Ah, can you start. Yeah, so you, you, you can actually manage these fields from here, which is actually quite useful. And you can go to you, to the actual field. So this is quite useful to keep an eye on on your fields from one central location. So that's that's the other good thing they've added in. So yes, the, the good news is we've got a mini-map, we've got a crop summary, and the bad news is we've got salvage sites, but I can't use them. So that well, that sucks, quite frankly. But one thing they've been doing is this. Now, this will be interesting to see over time, because this has been the bane of my life for ages. I mean, the the fertility around here is actually quite high. But it just they they grow trees. I'm I'm, pretty, I'm not sure of yeah. It's set to only chop down mature trees but these trees just never grew now i ended up if memory serves well, i ended up if memory serves moving one of the other amps over to here somewhere 
Yeah, that's all moved over here now. And I moved it because of that. And apparently they made some changes. So there's various optimizations they've been doing to try and improve things. Oh, that doesn't need to be there anymore. Let's take that down. So they've been making various optimization tweaks to try and improve things, to squash bugs and what have you. But one of the things that I've also been doing is they've been tweaking the fertility um, when it comes to trees. I think the idea is that if the fertility is not that good, your trees will take so long to grow. If it's really good, they'll just grow quicker. So fingers crossed we'll fix this. They'll, you know, they'll fix that problem that I had. It was, it was driving me nuts. Um, let's have a look. We need some trees, don't we? I'm going to chop some trees down because apparently we haven't got any logs. That's a big problem. It's affecting things. Speaking of affecting things, I haven't seen anything to suggest this little bean of my life has been resolved, but to be honest, I don't think it ever will. So we're just going to keep encouraging people to go out there with their, with their little spades and to have a game of patty cake. And at this rate, it doesn't seem too bad if I do uh, two rows, two columns, whatever you want to call it at a time. Whereas I think when I was doing it with a bigger blocks, if you will, um, it was just didn't seem to be working. And that's basically because, as far as I could see, there's a limit. As when you, when you set up these instructions to, you know, go off and have a game of patty cake, um, or what the devs look as flattening tool, uh, each job has a limit of up to five people, I believe. Yeah, so by default, there'll be three people, but there would only ever be a maximum of five anyway. So if, if I set up something like, say, like that, there'll only be five people work on it. Whereas by doing it like that, we're going through it at a much quicker rate. And what I'm trying to do is I'm focusing on the left cell, which is just below the rest of the ones on the right. Because the way it works, as far as I'm aware, is it, it just averages the height of all the cells. So in theory, what it should do is lift this cell up a bit higher. Because ultimately I want it to be at the height of this lot here, but I think realistically, because this is all so low, that'll all probably just get dragged down to a lower level anyway. The goal is, uh, and how it always has been, to try and get this at a height. So I've got a, an area where I can put the town centre and all the valuables, so that it's all higher up, you know, higher up, and I'm like a on a big hill and I can defend it better because one of the problems I've got or at least what I'm finding is that yeah I mean we can get um, armies the, the only drawback is if, if you're up against like a private army because what one thing they've also done apparently they didn't take into account the amount of gold that you've got uh, in the kitty if you will, plus the amount of gold in the actual trading post. So I might now, if we, if we ever do, I mean, if you've got a lot of gold, as far as I'm aware, it does attract more private armies. I mean, I went through a process of basically ignoring them and we all, I mean, we literally got wrecked. It's, it seems to be very expensive to keep these troops. I think the the argument is, you know, they're all decked out, they've got like really good armour, they've got really good uh, weapons. The only drawback is it's costing me a lot of money. I mean, I'm only making a profit at the moment of about 243 and I haven't maxed out the number of troops. I mean, there's 12 of 24 in there. It cost me 96 to maintain them, so I think it might add another in there so that's heavy 
Using the heavy infantry. I want some more in there. I'll see how it goes. The where's the archery bunch? Let's add some in there. Cause it's not actually too bad. Two forty-three. So yeah, the, the, I think the argument is there's a lot of you've got all of these like well uh, armed uh, troops, but the trouble is you end up with a lot, a lot of well armed so like private armies coming at you, and that's a bit of a problem. At least as, as I see it, anyway. So I, just, I don't seem I seem to be able to match them, and you also they come in with like trebuchets or catapults, and they come in with battering rams. Even oh, what happened here? You intoxicated again? Yeah, seriously. But what is it with you, Bob? No, no dignity, these people. Anyway, uh, one thing I want to do. Oh, there you go. The total population has reached the maximum villagers cap of five hundred. Ah, this is something interesting. Yes, this was another thing that they added in. Ah, so it's, I wonder, I wonder, because I had, I'm sure I had over, well over 900 uh, villagers. Jeez Louise, this is bad because it means I've got, oh, okay, we're still surviving. I thought we were on a negative for the, um, the labourers we weren't, uh, we weren't, uh, we weren't coping with the villagers. But yeah, they added this in as well. That was something they mentioned in the notes. So we cannot have more than 500 villagers right so okay so the default is 500 okay okay so maximum villagers let's set it at 1500 what the heck I'm feeling generous Right, so we can now have up to 1,500. Interesting, so the default is only five. Uh, is only 500. Ooh. Oh, there you can get the crop summary from there as well. Oh, that's quite good. Anyway, what was I going to do? Uh, housing. <laughs> that was the reason I was trying to do that in the first place. I was trying to set up housing. Right, so... So if that's there, that means... Why have I got... Oh, yes, I forgot about the... Um, the deer. Right, so if I put that one there, that means we could in theory run a road that way. Ah right, now that's not quite working, is it? So have we got a have we got like a gap down there. Right, so I've got a gap on there. Right, so I must admit that's not ideal because um people tend to wander down there anyway, but Right, that would go on edge there. Interesting. Because that leaves me with a gap of two. Ah, right, because I've got a well there. Well, well, well. Now that's a... Kind of odd. I think I might... I don't have much wiggle room over here. It might make more sense... To move all these back a bit further then I can move this a bit further and then people can walk through without walking through people's houses that's a bit embarrassing well wow. all we've got is seven seven logs and it's winter time that's, that's one thing I find bizarre with the game is that we get the winter time and you can hear wolves howling I think there's only like one wolf den left Yeah, let's just chop some... Those trees aren't doing anything. Let's chop them down. Give them something to do. Yes, yeah, so I need I need to th think this through as to what I'm going to do there. But that's interesting now that if I've got a limit of... Um... Oh, it even changes colour. Ooh, look at that. It even changes colour depending on the season. 
Interesting. I put a lot of thought into that. I'll, I'll give them that. That's, that's clever, though. Right, leave them to do all that. Oh, yes, I was going in that way, wasn't I? Right, so that's 125 in that direction. But yeah, I mean, that's a bit of a pity. I quite like that idea of uh, salvage areas, but yeah, the only way I'm going to find out about that is a completely new game. I think, I mean, I don't think we're that far off from full release. So I think if I'm going to do a a new game, I think I'll probably just wait until we get the game fully released. Because I know when they, they did another major upgrade on this, where they introduced these... Um, actually, it's, there's one up here, isn't there? There's a, there's a deep mine up here for the gold. So this is like infinite gold. Because one of the problems is you used to run out of resources on a map. So they introduced these areas where you've got infinite resources. They, I think the, the, at least the feel as if they're a bit slower than a normal resource, but or a normal mine, but the um, the only way to get those is if you started a new map. So if you had an existing game in progress, it was like, eh, tough. And obviously we've got the same now with the, with the salvage areas, which is a pity. Oh, now that's something I was thinking about upgrading. Seriously? The one thing I'm thinking of upgrading is the one thing that decided to set on fire. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, and I wouldn't care, I'd been saving up as well. Because I, I didn't have enough planks. And I didn't have enough bricks. So I bought some bricks and then they used them all up. Then I think I bought more planks. So it's like trying to keep on top of it. It's like, well, all I want, as soon as those resources become available, I want to upgrade this and see what it's like. I mean, it's already got a like a, a seriously long reach. Have we got run out? Have we run out of room? Is the vault maxed out? You're kidding me. Um. Yeah, the the vault's maxed out. Can you build more than one vault? Storage. So that's a Cooper. Yeah, you can have more than one. It doesn't upset the um, the villagers by the looks of it. That's all right. I'll just plug it over there. Why not? I've got to prioritise that because I've got I've got too much gold. Good scene. Uh, actually, that's a thought. Give them a bit of... Oh, actually, let's put 25,000 here. Gives me a bit of wiggle room for now. It's, it's like... I, I've been selling all sorts of things off over time. I mean, the, the idea is... Buy the, the resources. Produce some useful goods and then just sell them off at a, at a good price. Uh, make a good profit. And that's what I've been doing. So, at the moment, I'm actually in the... I'm actually ahead, which is, which is quite good. I don't know how, because I've been going for a long, long time running at a loss. It might be because we've now got, like, these tier 5 houses. Big places, these. So they'll generate more, more profits. Right. How are we doing over here without flattening? So, yeah, my, my expectation is that this, this end is just so low down. It's inevitable it's going to pull this end down. The trouble is I've, I've, I've got to work my way left and just keep trying to lift this this side up as best I can. And then I'll have to work my way back along uh, from here again. And it's a, it's a very slow, laborious process. Fortunately, it's not me who's having to go out there with a shovel, but, you know, someone's got to do it. And we've, we've been here for over one and a half centuries. Whether will I ever finish it or not, I have no idea. I mean, when I say me, uh, we, I mean, obviously these people. I have no idea. I mean, I kind of feel obliged to... 
try and finish it up because it's a it's a bit of a pet project i mean there's a lot of people have uh, been working on this over the centuries well century i should say it's only been one century and some people end up getting stuck up here as a result <laughs> i remember i actually we've, we've got this interesting roads here i mean the, the trouble is every time you tweak something the uh, see that they still haven't been able to get that there every time you tweak something it um it breaks something else let's go and see if we can flatten that then yeah you can get them to flatten some area and it breaks something else somewhere and then you've got this problem of, um, oh dear, I've stranded somebody on top of a mountain. And you don't realise. And as luck would have it, it's midwinter, so they don't really last long. Which is unfortunate. It's not as bad as losing, like, most of your population to uh, the private army, I must admit. Whoa! That sounded a bit, uh, a bit harsh. Uh, let's go here. Yeah. It's interesting because you can see that, like, the land does change. So they do do something, but I've got to be very careful because it could wreck the... I mean, I've, I've got, like, a, a temporary road running down here. This is, like, an emergency measure in case things get completely wrecked. <laughs> if this happened, that's the trouble. Ah, they finally did that one. I'm curious to see what I can see. So at the moment, they're, they're able to get up. Oh, it's going to wreck it, isn't it? Let's cancel that. That's going to that's going to mess things up. I've, I've no idea how I'm going to sort that out at the end of the day. Because, I mean, obviously you want like a little road like that coming down, but at the moment it's broken. And there's, so you can't use it. Even that one's broken. Oh, didn't want to do that, but never mind, I'll do it. Uh, try and flatten it there. Oh, speaking of flattened that one, needed flattening, didn't it? Who we got today? Oh, was it Lethros? Yeah, that's Lethros, I think. That's interesting that, how it's highlighted. It actually highlights now, which is quite good. Yeah, that highlights very well, that does. Except we're ending up with duplication. 31 livestock. What am I, what am I going to do with 31 livestock? That's a lot of livestock, I'm just saying. Now that would have been useful if, if you automatically slow the game down. Uh, where was it? Like they added an option like that for the, the traders. Because the traders don't hang around very long. They tend to wander off. Ah, there you go. Bricks, that was it. I was running out of bricks at the time, so I asked them to bring some bricks. Ooh, and he wants a bajillion for them. Fine. That's going to cost me 4,800. Sheesh. Uh, tell you what, in that case, how about I sell you some glass? Um, buy some of these, because I could do with some. I'm not too concerned about the barrels. Interesting. So yes, yeah, so we're now on... Oh, that just needs five iron. Okay. Hopefully that'll get sorted out quick, now that I've bought some. But yeah, you can s as far as I'm aware, what, what, I'll, what I'll get is this little drop-off. And it'll, it should, in theory, start working over the, towards the left. So at the moment, it drops off at that point. So next time round, I'd expect to be doing it from there. It's all theory, of course. It's like, I've been doing it that long and I'm, 
I'm still experimenting to try and find out. Let's increase the game speed. But it's not, you can see it's not flat at all. Even, oh, uh, I don't think that's going to help, but never mind. Even where the, um, here go. Yeah, even where we're actually doing this all, it's not flat. So that's the thing that it, you, you give them an instruction to flatten that area, but it doesn't end up actually flat. So it's a bit deceptive calling it a flattening tool, I think. That's why I prefer to just say, you know, they're having a game of patty cake with a shovel. It's, it's, it doesn't end up flat when they're finished. It doesn't even, rem I mean, it doesn't even remotely look flat. So that's about 125 cells we get in there. Tell you what, that's going to be a bit weird if I let them touch that one. So let's... Yeah, I'll redo that. Right. Go, go, go. But it does make me wonder, like, how many generations of people have been working on this. I'm like curious what their opinion is. Do they think this is like a complete waste of time? I mean, they're doing it, to be fair. I mean, nobody's like gone on strike or anything. Oh, we've got a, we've got a visitor. I'm just going to finish this off. Now, who's that? I think I have Beldar the Peddler, I think. So they throw a spell down the peddler. Oh, I like that's what I like. It would be good if you could like do two way trades. Um, but no, I mean, there's certain usually there's just certain things they want to sell, things they want to buy. In Murphy's Law, it's a case of um. It's not in the direction that you want it to be. Or oh, they haven't got anything that you want to buy or don't feel like selling. Right, if we come back to, oh, no, don't do do don't want to do that. Right, so that's got a little edge there to it. So we'll move back. Oh that's gonna be a one twelve then, okay. Never mind. Interesting that, and it's it's different as you as I'm going along. It's like everything's like at a different height altogether. So even though I'm doing these like stripes as I go along, everything still is out of sync. Which again is why I question why they call it a flattening tool, because I, th I think it averages out the height of the. the individual cells but I don't think it like realistic uh, realistically flattens the players that's a big area which I think I might get away with because that should be relatively flat anyway given how many times we've been flattening over here But yeah, I've got, I've got to be very careful because that, that's kind of like the emergency road. Because I don't want to strand anybody up here. And that's a pity that they're not going... Nobody wants to touch these areas at all. And oh, that's interesting, they've done these ones. Though. Let's try and see if I can get them to do that then. There might just be certain places they just can't get to, that's the trouble. Because that's the idea, is to have this kind of a, a road that runs down. It's surrounded by walls. And then what we've got out uh, on the side of the walls, obviously, are the turrets. So if you want to get to it, you've got to get past turrets. That's the theory. 
Um, probably just wreck this road. I mean, that that's just too steep. <laughs> to be fair, it's too steep. So they're getting to about that point and then it's like okay we can walk on the roads and incidentally i think they've done something in this update for roads as well to try and improve them i remember something there was there was, there was something about spikiness whatever that was so they've been doing something whatever that something is it's 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 something Right, so that drops at that point. So if we then go uh, Yeah, so before we must have been coming up to here, now we're coming up to here. So something's happening. I, I don't know what, but something's happening. It seems different. It's like I say, my, my theory is we're gonna be kind of moving to the left. And then eventually we'll hit the end and then I'll have to just repeat the whole process again. And then eventually, and I think the word eventually in this game means a long, long time. I might actually end up with an area that's flat. Um, yeah, yeah, you can join. The more the merrier. Because then maybe... And oh, uh, camera got a little excited there. Maybe we'll get to a point where we can actually afford big troops, and then I can start thinking about. Oh, that didn't go as, as far. Ah, oh, that's probably because that side moved. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I always thought they'd be in sync there, but no. But the more money I can make, the more troops I can have. So who's that? Um, I can't remember who that one is. Guess better go and find out. So that is. Where have you gone? Come back. That's in it, it's under Plains Rider. How did I forget that name? Right, have you got anything? I'll tell you what, I'll buy some of these. Because I mean, we'll just otherwise we'll just end up with a big private army stealing money off us anyway. May as well spend it. Tallow. Yeah, give us more tallow. I don't think I really want to sell them. That's interesting that I've got a lot of... I've got a lot of tools. That makes a change. So at least we're doing something. At least the blacksmiths are... At least I think it's the blacksmiths who are making all of the tools. Alright, let's keep going in that direction. What's a thought? Is there a... Yeah, there's a drop off at about there. Uh, let's see, that's about there. So that's, well, that's in sync then. But I must admit, this road is just. I don't realistically see anybody going up and down that road for quite some time. And I have no idea how I'm going to actually get a road to work. Unless you go up the side of the road. Now, there's a thought. You go, if, um, if you go up the side of the mountain pass like I've got at the minute, that might be appealing. Now that could be an idea actually if you could have a road. So you've got to go, yeah, you, you, you go up, the, you've got like the outer road, so you go up there. And then that double doubles back on itself and then you start going up the next level. Then you've got another one, so that basically just... Well, yeah, I mean, it slows the villagers down, but it, it would slow down an oncoming army significantly. Because at the moment, you've just got to come up one single road. But if you 
if you had it looping around and around, it would give the turrets a lot more time uh, to pick them up, I'd suppose. That is tempting, I must admit. I'm, I'm, I'm suddenly liking that idea. Ooh, 625. Oh, that's a pity. We can't go that way, but we can go that way. Curious and curiouser. Whoa, the one twenty-one. Th Trouble is, I don't well. That's twenty-one thousand four hundred forty-six. Oh, are you still here? Seriously? I thought I sent you home. And back here. <laughs> so there you go, they went over 21,000 gold. Now the trouble is, I don't think I've put the turrets into this place yet. Oh yes, I've got one there. So there's a bit of a gap, isn't there? That was it, I was going to... I was planning on moving a house so I could fit a turret in, was, or was I? It's a bit late to be putting turrets in now, to be fair, but... Yeah, that's not going to help. Oh yeah, that, the idea was actually, I think I was going to widen this out, wasn't I? Put it there. There's no point putting it on the outside because it would get in the way. Um, Where's the next one? Is that one that covers that point? So we need another one. I'm just going to hold out, just out of curiosity, and see what, see how much they wreck the place. Um, while we're waiting, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to max this lot out. I'm going to grab as many as I can. I mean, they are. We'll see how bad it gets. I mean, it's twelve of twelve. So where are the pikemen? Are these the... Oh, f... Fudge sickles, I've messed it up, haven't I? Yeah, I've messed it up. Ah, you can transfer soldiers. Gotcha. Right, tell you what. In that case... Ooh. It's a bit late now, because these, these ones... These ones, are, this was supposed to be pigment to deal with. Never mind, it's going to be a mixture now. But they could come up here and trash this place. At least, I mean, I, I know where they are, so there's one down there. They're going to come up along here and they're going to trash this place, aren't they? They're just going to trash the entire place as they come along. I'm a bit more optimistic now but down here because I've got the turrets. The problem is... Jeez uh, Louise, let's garrison them down here for now. What happened to group one? Let's bring these lot... So that's Phoenix Company. So that'll be a mixture. Oh, I didn't put the flag in, did I? It's supposed to left click it, aren't you? Oh, what's that? Treat. Run away! Hopefully we won't have to do that, but... Where... Where are you lot going? Taking an interesting detour, I think. So this is Hound Company. Because what I'm concerned about most is the trebuchets. 
that's my biggest concern. I mean, long term, I want to put, I want to put some garrisons down here. Um, speaking of which, I need to flatten the, the place down here, though, don't I? Hmm. That's concerning. What's also concerning is this is not flat. Right, so that's, that's the edge. So, do what I was doing before. But yeah, that's a trouble. That, that, that private army is asking for a, almost half of the gold we've got, I think. I'm tempted to give it to them. <laughs> it just ends up in just a disaster. Things do not go well. I'm just saying. And I'm not holding my breath that it's going to make any difference this time. But I feel obliged. If I can get the cavalry out to at least take down their like catapults and trebuchet, uh, catapults and uh, battering rams, I might I might be able to cope a bit better, but yeah, I'm not overly optimistic because I think the last time there was a I think there was some cavalry units turned up on the doorstep and they just completely wrecked the walls and it was it was just sheer luck I think because they got into the town and they, they seriously wrecked the place after that and the, the amount of people I lost was just crazy now this time round I've, I've essentially got I would say like two towns basically. So the town lord down isn't as open. I know another time I got attacked, this place was there was no walls, no turrets or anything. And that place got just trashed and I think that was just barbarians quite frankly. I'm tempted to Yeah, I was gonna say I'm, I was tempted there to run that in a um in an opposite direction. My only concern is I'm bringing a lot of people up here. Yeah, I'm bringing a lot of people up here, and they're all going to be up here when the when these troops turn up. I might let them finish this little bit off here. They at least might go somewhere out of the way. In fact, I might that that's a thought actually. Maybe. I wonder if this will help. If I get some people working over here. I'll bring them in indoors, or at least behind the walls over here. Oh dear, that's bad. I don't like that. Every time somebody dies, they get that horrible, <laughs> horrible cry. Like it's like, oh, jeez, Louise. Not as bad as some things I've got. I mean, there's one game I'm playing, Aska. That is terrible. When people go to the toilet, it's that is just brutal. I don't know who decided to use. It must have like been been a struggle as to like um, find enough um, like sound effects or something, and somebody just put this sound effect in, and it's like seriously bad. I mean, they really could have come up with something. Like a bit of choice in what they did. Oh, I'm going to have to bite the bullet, aren't I? I'm going to have to... Oh. I mean, at least a lot of these... I was going to say a lot of these are leaving. There's a lot of people going back now. So that one's almost done. I think I'm just going to go and tell them lot where to go. I'll wait till I finish this little bit here. 
and then yeah we'll we'll just take a risk and see what happens ah so I can't get them to attack wait oh okay well fair enough what the heck I was I was expecting me to have an option now where I could just say look I've changed my mind and I, I can't be bothered to wait I'm just gonna uh because it says six months as well which is hmm, it's gonna be interesting but I think while I'm while we're waiting I'm just gonna keep them keep them occupied in here because there's only so many there's only so many people you can like put into the actual um into the town when you sound the bell and I've only got one town as well which is a pity another good reason to probably have a, like a barracks somewhere else because then you could get them to you get the soldiers to shore up and uh, to thought actually um, that's a good idea keeping them all the way out here They're still building over there but yeah I think as long as I as long as I can keep them in uh, most of the people behind the walls that's my theory there's less likelihood they'll get there uh, Rip the shreds when the army turns up. Five months. I think I've just repeated what I was getting to do there. I mind. Right, I'm just going to keep doing this just for the sake of it. Well, that's interesting that. I, I thought I would have had an option to just say, look, I've, I've decided, you know, do your best. Oh, no, that's a thought. So the last time I checked, they were down here somewhere. Can I not take, take the fight to them? Uh, it's probably not in my interests to do that though. Yeah, I'm, I'm better off with like uh, with turrets. Uh, we don't have enough ingots to, or iron here. We don't have enough iron to do that. What about aha? There we go. Right, go upgrade that. So that'll expand its reach, so it'll be able to. Hopefully we'll get more more people getting uh, more cheerful about going to see the opera or whatever it is. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like. Because I quite like, I mean these houses, really good what they've done with houses as you go through each tier. The houses get uh, a lot of detail and they look, they look a, a whole lot better now when you look at them. And you compare like what to start off with with little just little huts if you will speaking of which I was supposed to move these wasn't I right so I'll move those I mean I appreciate it's the middle of winter but what the heck you know things change so I'll move that one Yeah, I'll move that one back, and I'll move that one back as well. Four months. Yeah, it would be a nice button if I could just told them where to go, quite frankly, but it is what it is. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these little houses... Oh dear, somebody just died. I suspect 
people who died from exposure were the people who lived in these houses on the moon. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I suspect. I suspect that's the case. Oopsie! Right, I'll move that. Uh, that's where it is at the moment. I want to move it slightly one back. That's interesting that it doesn't... It, there's various buildings, like if, if you're going to upgrade them you get like a little, a little arrow pointing upwards, like this one over here for instance. So this is a storehouse, so I can upgrade it and there's the little arrow. Now it's interesting that that... That's upgradable but it wouldn't show me, it wouldn't like say, oh by the way, uh, you can upgrade this if you want to. Where's the rat catcher gone? Seriously, where's the rat catcher? What are you doing? Seeking shelter. Where are you? Oh, you live over there? Somebody who lives in a... Somebody who's doing a job of, like, a rat catcher, you're doing pretty well, I've got to say. I mean, that's a pretty cool house. You're living in, what, a mansion? Seriously? There's all these rats, though. You know, like... You know, like, take care of them. I mean, it would be appreciated. I'm just saying. I don't know by who, but somebody would appreciate it. Ah, oh, right, so that's a rat catcher down there, then. Understandable. Can these be upgraded? No. How much longer do we have to wait? Three months. It's taking its it's taking that sweet time. Because I think before I had an option to just say, no, I'm not gonna pay. It just means I'm not getting anything done, because I don't want anybody out here. Because as far as I recall, I think they were down here. And I suspect they'll head up to that mountain top because there's there is some gold up there. Last time anybody came in this direction, they came along here. They made their way up here and they just trashed the place. Presumably because there's a market there. Seriously, are you not Are you not, not gone home? <laughs> Why are they all over here? Seriously, you were supposed to go home. That was the plan. Come here. This is bizarre. Actually, that's a thought. <coughs> yeah, we've got eight of eight, so we can't, we can't have any more than that. Oh, we can upgrade this one. Let's upgrade the barracks then. So then I can have more people um, as archers. 24 of 24, so that's maxed out. 24 of 24. A bit messed up, I must admit. I don't think that can be upgraded. <coughs> 8 of 8. So they're on veteran C1. They've got no experience of combat. Neither of these lot. This doesn't bode well. They've got they've got no combat experience. How are you supposed to how are you supposed to win a fight if you've got no combat experience? Well to be fair, I mean I suppose you've got to have a fight in the first place, but it just seems wrong. Why why we've got a road missing? Do you want to put the road in? I have a horrible feeling things aren't gonna to go to plan. And I haven't got any I haven't got enough money to pay them. I mean if they lowered the demands I might be able to pay it. Yeah, it's a that's a bit of a dilemma now. I'm I'm I've got a bit of a dilemma, should we say. So I've got a month to pay them. Which I'm not going to do now. Right, let's <laughs> Let's try this again. So I'm, I'm going to put the flag here. 
I've no idea what they're going to do, but... Now you're going to go. They've been stuck all the way out there for ages. Right, I'll grab these ones. I'll grab these ones, actually, just on the off chance there are some cavalry in among that lot. Last time I had a private army, there was. Because what I want to do is kind of like hit and runs with the, with the cavalry. Ooh, five new villagers have immigrated. So that was pretty quick. We had about 860-something, and now we're up to 1,024. So yeah, we've got buildings on fire. Oh, they're up there now. How did they end up there? So there's some up here and there's some up here. Ooh. I'm seriously tempted to go out and see them, find out what's going on. I mean, I'd be better off waiting for them to come and hit me, but they'll, they'll have catapults and battering rams on your hand if I go out and f take those down now that might offer me a, a bit of a reprieve oh decisions decisions and of course that's all for another episode <laughs>